But look at her. Now, responsibility is full. Everything crying around you is showing you that there has been change. Hallelujah. What are you supposed to do is to advance into the change and turn it into positivity. Is somebody following up? You know what we do? We sit down there and begin to cry. It was not like this before. Is somebody following me? You know what? You are, you are expecting it to be in your level. To continue where you were yesterday. Yesterday is gone. Today is another day. Every day, there's a mercy. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. There is a mercy. His mercies are what? New what? Every morning. It means that yesterday is gone. Today is another day. There is a capacity that will survive today. Not the one you survived yesterday with. Somebody follow him up. You see, we don't understand the practicing of, of, of productivity and growth in life. We want to remain a particular thing in this position. But this thing has lingered here. The, the God, to an extent, came and told the children of Israel, you have been in this position for so long. Do what? It's a time you need to move forward. Now, it means we are not permitted to remain static. No matter the level of success you have got in your old past. Hallelujah. Eh? Success is told in, an, in a different formation. What you might call success right now. For an example, you might be riding car yesterday. Get my point. Today, you're no longer using car. But there is something you know today, praise the Lord, that is advancing you into not just owning a car. Now, you're going to be the one who will... Oh, somebody get me. Are you getting it? Who can dash cars to others tomorrow? Now look at it. If cares not taken, you might begin to cry over your yesterday because you had car yesterday. Today I don't have car. Is somebody following me? What you know today? Did you know it yesterday? You must know that every day comes with a better advancement. That is what they call working in a higher frequency. I, yesterday was better for me. Life can never be better yesterday. If it were better yesterday, let me tell you what will happen. Hmm? You should have finished your race yesterday. Do I say it again? If life were better, what? Yesterday, you could have what? Finished your what? Raised yesterday and join the people who passed on what? Yesterday. Then we count you as the person who succeeded yesterday and ended what? Yesterday. You still are part of the history. You're part of today. You're part of the history. Why? It's because you keep progressing. Praise the Lord. Now, let me digress what I mean by this progress. We don't understand it. If your own progress talks about material things, I own car yesterday, I own businesses, I own this, I don't own it again today. If that is what you count as success, I want to disappoint you. That's not what God counts as success. That is not what God counts as success. What he counts as success, it is your, your capacity in terms of growth. When you become useful to him and become useful to creation, hallelujah, become useful to what? Him and what? Creation is what God counts as success. Look at what he counts as success. He look at what Jesus told the, 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 disciples, the, the disciples. He said to them, they said to him, what are we going to benefit for? We have left everything we have to follow you. Hallelujah. We've left everything we do to follow you, our business to follow you. You know what he said to them? He said to them, you have the most, you are most blessed. You have the most reward. You know why? Because, because your name is, will be written in the book of life. That is number one. Are you getting it? Number two, every other thing on earth will be what added unto you. You know what? There is a benefit ahead. There is a glory ahead. I want to ask, didn't they finally step into that glory? Did they lack anything? Somebody follow me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me until you get to the level where the word of God will begin to comfort you. You know what comfort means? The word begins to break you. 
begins to direct you, begins to correct you, begins to correct the inclination. See, the word of God is meant to correct us, but we are too stubborn to allow the word to flow. So we struggle with the Holy Spirit. Please, his compassion faileth not. If his compassion will ever fail, it means our future is never guaranteed. Praise the Lord. He faileth not. You know why? That is a sign to show you that your today is better than your yesterday. Praise the Lord. He faileth not. He's the same yesterday. Today and what? Forever. Tomorrow. He's the same. Now, let me ask you a question. If you were in the shoe of Joseph, what will you call this? On a sudden, he was mostly celebrated in the family, giving the coat of so many colors. You know what that means? Eh? Loved by everybody. That's what that coat of many colors means. Celebrate on a sudden. Please, who will be Joseph for me now? Who will be the Joseph here? Okay, come and take the blessing. Now, on a sudden, this Joseph that is celebrated by everybody, all the family, because of a vision of God for his life. Eh? Now, not just that he's now being hated by the same people who celebrated him. Do you know what makes it different? La tosca patoka patala katosha. What makes the difference is that the vision has changed. Le tosa kata. Are you somebody following up? Vision has changed. He used to think as an individual before. Just striving for small success. Now, you're not seeing nations that you're going to change. Please, is the vision the same? You used to talk about food and normal, live a normal life. Now, you are now, every day of your life, you don't live alone. You discover that other people's activities are not joining your own. Is, it the, same? is the level still the same? Now, the vision still the same? Now, immediately the vision changed by dream. He had a dream where his brothers bowed to him and family. Now what happened? They hated him for the vision. So when they hate you, what they hate is the change in you. Hallelujah. Because you used to, you know, our papa, Dr. Paul Nature Medical, he says, he says it's better to be inconsequential than to be irrelevant. You know what that means? It's better you become important. Eh? Not be understood. It's better you are important and you're not understood by anybody. Nobody understands you than them understanding you and you being useless. Now, that vision has changed. They don't understand him anymore. Oh, because we they celebrate you. Now you want to feel you can be, all of us can bow to you, including me, your father. Ah, Joseph, you don't miss him. The next thing, they started planning how to kill him. The Bible says the enemies, those from your household are your enemies. They are the number one that want to kill you. Not even the outsiders. You know why? Because your vision has changed. That's why one of the people I keep very far, watch me, eh, are families. You know what I do? I bring them in when it's to celebrate. They celebrate, they still go. I continue my journey. Hallelujah. Now what happened? The same people who were celebrating, celebrate, who celebrated the same Joseph, they didn't just plan to kill him, they took him, to me, they killed him. Hallelujah. Please, if you were in Joseph's shoe, what will you do? The next thing, a full born, a, a bona fide Israelite, a son of Israel, one of the tribe of Israel, were sold in slave trade to a, to a strange country. Please, if you've ever known God, as Joseph, will you still want to follow that God? 
Little things happen to you today. You jump out. So many people. I no go again. I, I'm not seeing God. I don't understand. I'm confused. I don't know what I'm doing, self. I don't know why I'm here. You know why? Lazy minds. They want to. Lazy minds want to achieve big dreams. <laughs> lazy minds want to achieve big dreams. Please, how is that possible? Are we seeing that we are the problem of God? They sold this Joseph, killed him, took the garment of Joseph, went to their father and said, that white animal devoured your son. This is the, his blood and this is his garment. If father went into sorrow, the old man, that is in, in the lamb lights. Joseph should have assumed to be the first son of Israel. Because the mother was supposed to be the first. Am I not right? In the right tradition, the first wife, whether the son is young or old, should have been the first. Because he's the first wife. Now, they killed their destiny. Please, somebody follow me. They slayed their own destiny. Do you know why they are looking for you to slay? Not knowing that you are their destiny. Not knowing that you are their helper. The same people who celebrated you. Let me shock you. Share a success story with friends. Hmm? With your friends or a family member. Check. From that day you start having problems. You know why? Ah, so you think you want to be better than us. Go as you are now. You want to get married. Go and bring a man that looks more superior than your brothers or look more superior, more better than your, sis, your siblings' husband. They will fight you to death because they feel you're coming to intimidate them. They already know you as someone who intimidates. You're bringing someone in a higher capacity. They will do everything because they feel like this one wouldn't understand him. To do what? To make sure that that marriage will not work. Because they feel like these ones will rob us. You know why? They want you to remain in the level they know you. They don't want you to get better. They don't want you to get better than them. So I'll make all of us be fool. Let all of us remain in this blindness. Do you know? Eh? that if not because Jesus was determined it is very possible that his own people you see why he started earlier separating himself from his own people you know why you know why already Peter has planned to stop the cross is somebody following up to do what to stop the cross Peter was ready to kill somebody so that Jesus would not go to the cross. Jesus said, Peter, he that do what? Fight by the sword. Shall do what? Die by the sword. There are people that will want to stop you from getting into your destiny. They will think they are helping you. Are you aware? Eh? They will think they are what? Happy. Look at your life. Uh, look, were you not better yesterday? Now, who is a man to determine who is better today or yesterday? Are you? Do you have monopoly to see yesterday and today? <laughs> Hallelujah. Is somebody following me? Now, you sometimes you know you watch the person talk, the people talking, eh? Because they have little opportunity. You look at them. You are, they are, they are suffering internally. Praise the Lord. Eh? Even the people talking to you need your help. At that moment, they are. But you know what? They saw you as an opportunity. If you don't even know yourself, I'm telling you, they can talk you out of your stand. That's why God does not engage children on a journey of destiny. But let me shock you. Tomorrow, when God 
will finish your primary examination because the examination doesn't end. You know what happened? Those same persons will come and say, ah, thank God for your life. Oh, Thank God you didn't listen to people. Thank God you didn't follow people. Thank God, are you getting me? You know what happened? Thank God oh, they want to come and say, they will forget, like Apostle Seman said, that they are the same people who the devil used to fight you. To an extent, Job's wife came. A wife came and said, deny God and do what? And is it not better to deny God? Is he waiting God do you? Waiting again, amen. If that was not pre-planned, how would the woman know what was discussed in the secret? Because the discussion within God and the devil is that what happened? That Job would deny him. Is somebody following up? Was she there? No. Hallelujah. In the book of Job. But look at what happened. She came and told Job. Now, who went into her? Please, who was speaking through her? The devil. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says we're not equally yoked. We are not ignorant of the devices of what? The enemy. He will come with a loud voice, with boldness, through many vessels, to set to scatter your head. Cause God and die. He can use any available vessel. I know when to hear God, and I know when I don't. I know when God is not speaking. Hallelujah. Let's go on on the scripture so that we can pray. Now, they are what? He said he's compassionate. Do what? Failed not. They are what? New every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. His mercies and compassion are new every morning. Can you stand on your feet? You don't understand. Today, tomorrow, no matter how it looks, will be better than today. Praise the Lord. Today is better than yesterday. Look at me. Do you know what? Eh? I say it again. If your yesterday is better than your today, you should have finished your race yesterday. Am I right? It means she's been executed. You should have finished your race yesterday. Today, you have more opportunity. Today, you have more privilege. Today, you have more time to change. Hallelujah. To correct your errors. Today, you have the opportunity to make new decisions. Praise the Lord. Today, you have the opportunities to make new decrees in your life. Today, you have opportunity to make to adjust the areas you think that you need to adjust. Today. Yesterday. Will you adjust anything yesterday? Can you change anything yesterday? Now, please, anything that makes you feel like your yesterday was better, is it from the pit of hell? Is where? From the pit of hell. Please, look at me. Look at me, everyone. Do you think that my yesterday is better than my today? I want to ask. Huh? Huh? Why do you say no? <laughs> I'm renewed. What I know today, do I know yesterday? Huh? Now let me look at me. But I had some Jeep yesterday. Different Jeep of different type. I had a driver. Am I talking? But today, do I have the Jeep? Do I have the drivers? But you know what I have? You know what I have? I have measure of grace that can produce that company that will produce the Jeeps. <laughs> and I have a future and a hope. Hallelujah. Eh? Of partnering with the biggest automobile company in the world. Don't you have a future? Don't you have a hope? Say to your neighbor, my today is better than my yesterday. 
and my every day will come with grace and the compassionate compassion of god is available for me and he failed not god's compassion is available for me then by that i take over by with that grace and mercy available i take over every day i take over every day of my life i make use of every day of my life in the name of our Lord Jesus.